Hey, what is up heroes and welcome to my top 10 best Pokemon ROM hacks of 2017. Last week we went over my top 10 best fan games of 2017, so if you want to check that out, link in the description down below, go give it a watch after this. Now this list will only include ROM hacks I have played this year, so if you don't see your favourite ROM hack likenesses, I haven't played it, or I have played it and it was before 2017. A lot of these ROM hacks are incomplete and are in beta, but they were super fun and well worth a play, or at least for you to keep on your radar for the time being. If you guys enjoy the video, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and turn on notifications to keep up to date with the channel. So then, let's get started. Number 10, we have Pokemon Moon Emerald. Moon Emerald is essentially Pokemon Emerald, however it has Generation 7 Pokemon. Seeing Generation 7 Pokemon in Gen 3 sprite form is super cool. Some of them look amazing, and I think look better than they do in Sun and Moon. The difficulty of Moon Emerald is also increased a little bit difficult, which made it fun for a challenge. I actually did a Nuzlocke for this game early this year and it was super fun because of the available Pokemon as well as the difficulty. Well worth a check out. For number 9 we have Pokemon Aqua Blue. Taking place after the events of Fire Red, you're an average kid living in Saffron City. You're looking forward to your first ever Pokemon coming in for an ordering service. And after several weeks of waiting, the day has finally arrived. Professor Rope contacts your mother and prepares to meet you in Saffron City Pokemon Center. However, when you arrive, things don't go quite as planned. When I played this game, it was a little bit buggy, but it was still good. It has some real nice features, like when a Pokemon faints, it becomes a ghost. The feature was a little bit buggy, but it felt a bit like a Nuzlocke I think it was trying to get at, but not be a Nuzlocke at the same time, which was uh, pretty rad. And this is an area where when you walk into the fog, you get poisoned, all your Pokemon gets poisoned. If you have a poison type Pokemon on your team, it stops you from getting poisoned. Little things like that is really cool, and I would love to see more fan games incorporate a sort of feature like that. There's some really cool ideas here and I really hope this game continues to get worked on because it was really fun, just a little bit too buggy though. Number 8 we have Pokemon Scarlet Blaze. Scarlet Blaze is a sequel to Pokemon Fire Red. You play as Crimson or Scarlet and you are the son or daughter to Red and you're on a mission to find out more about your parents. You'll see familiar faces throughout your journey, a new evil team, Team Rebel and a bunch of new areas to explore. Scarlet Blaze was a really fun game, felt very similar to Fire Red in some points, but changed just enough to make it feel like a brand new game. The new areas of the game are great and include some Gen 7 Pokemon like Rockruff. I can see this game going places uh, the more it's updated. Definitely worth to keep your eyes out on this game. Number 7 we have Pokemon Luna. You and your mother and Professor Allen were visiting some ruins in the Kantos region when something goes wrong and your mother goes missing. Two years after the events, you're ready to begin your adventure and discover what happened to your mother. This game currently only has one gym, but I really enjoyed my time playing this. The game sprites looked really cool and the small events that happened in the game I thought were pretty swell. The English in the game isn't the greatest as the creator's first language isn't English, but it's still understandable which is great. Pokemon Luna is currently still in alpha, but it grabbed my attention enough that I really hope it does get updates soon and regularly because I just want to keep playing this game, I really enjoyed my time playing it. And I really hope in the future we can see a big update to this game, at least giving us you know, 3 or 4 gyms, that would be perfect. Number 6 we have Pokemon Dark Realm. One day, a normal day, the kind of day you don't expect anything strange to happen. You went to class, everything was normal, until you got lost in the Pokemon world. That's where our story begins. Since I played Dark Realm earlier this year, it's had so many updates and the main region is now completed. Which means, I think come January, I might have to do a playthrough of this, I don't know, look out for that. But the creator has the goal of giving you a great storyline and beautiful graphics, and from the beta I played, that was achieved. The game is stunning, uh, the story is well told, I wish the beginning was a little shorter, felt a tad too long to get started, but it was great storytelling nonetheless. The game includes some Fakemon which look really cool, I can't wait to play this game's new beta to fully get a taste of the game, and maybe we'll see it higher on next year's list, who knows. Number 5, we have Pokemon Unbound. Welcome to the Boreas region, a region rich in history. Many years ago, the region fought a bloody war with the Carlos region. The people of the Boreas region summoned a dark force to help them defeat their enemies. However, the war ended in defeat when the King of Carlos unleashed the ultimate weapon. With the war over, the dark force was sealed away, never to be used again. However, many years later, an evil organization known simply as the Shadows is bent on releasing the Dark Force once again. It's up to you to stop them and save the Boreas region from ultimate destruction. It was just the use of his legendary Pokemon, the flow of the region, it just felt really good. The only problem was uh, the levels felt a little bit too high here and there, 
but obviously as a ROM hack you can just speed up the game with an emulator and it was no problem at all to grind up, but maybe if you want to do a normal playthrough you might have to just lower the level a teeny bit just to uh, make everything good, but so far the game, fantastic, this could potentially be one of the best ROM hacks if it gets you know completed, I've really, really enjoyed this. Number 4 we have Pokemon Resolute. You're a trainer who lives in Cedar City. One day, Professor Avery asks you to find and record data on each Pokemon you meet. You're going to travel the whole region with your best friend Elijah, and you're trying to go to Solar City to meet Professor Avery when you encounter Team Mirage. Team Mirage was quite active in the Tyrone region one year ago, which was in Pokemon Victory Fire. However, it was disbanded. Now Team Mirage is back. Team Mirage members tell you that they want to be helpful to humans moving forward. Why have they reorganized Team Mirage? Should you trust them? It's time for you to find out what is happening in the Cylon region. Pokemon Resolute is a fantastic game and being updated this year to fix the broken English and include 7th gen Pokemon is just brilliant. The game's custom sprites and tiles are really cool and some look a bit off but mostly they are really eye pleasing. Now being fixed with English, Resolute is one of my favorite ROM hacks now. It was already a good game. But playing it before is just like, okay, I understand what's going on. There's some bits you're just like, that doesn't make sense or this doesn't make sense. Now with the English being mostly fixed, it's still a bit bad here and there. But it's nowhere near as bad as it used to be. Now Resolute is understandable and it's so well worth a play. Like before I would say, play it if you don't mind getting your brain kind of messed up. Sometimes you'll read it and just like, that doesn't sound right and you'd read it wrongly and try and correct it in your brain but it doesn't come out right well that's for me anyway but now you can read it and just go okay that makes a bit more sense this is what's happening Pokemon Resolute is a really good game lots and lots of content here goes on for so long and uh, I said this before but I always count when you finish a game and you get the credit that's when the post game starts and then this game had a post 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 game like I got the credits rolling like four or five times it was just it was a lot of content here just Looking for a long game to play, this is definitely one of them. Number 3 we have Pokemon Mega Power. The game is now finally completed with post game and this game is the sequel to Pokemon Resolute. You don't need to play Resolute in order to play this, but if you do, you will understand a few things better. Not to mention there's many returning characters. I like the story and characters better in Mega Power than Resolute, but the one thing that really bugs me is the English is still very bad. It's just as bad as Resolute used to be. You can understand what's going on, but you have to pay a lot of attention. And I'm really hoping we can see an update in the future of this game, similar to uh, Resolute, where it fixes the English. But Mega Power has an awesome post game, even introduces Soren, which I've only ever seen in one of a fan game that was Pokemon Insurgents. But to do this in a ROM hack, I think that's pretty awesome. The game also has 7th gen Pokemon now. Uh, I think some are a little bit bugged, like I went into the uh, the fire gym and some guy just had a Tapu Bulu, I was like, oh, okay, I don't know why you had that, but it's still quite fun to see and there's a lot more kind of puzzles and things to do in this game than Resolute and it's a bit more fleshed out, but the English is just still a bit of a problem. If we can get that fixed, this game could be one of the best ROM hacks. It really could, it's so, so fun. Number two, we have Pokemon Giratina Strikes Back. The story starts with your dad asking you to go on an adventure to fulfill his childhood dream of becoming a Pokemon master. On your adventure, you will meet many unique people, and trust me, these people you meet are very unique to any Pokemon ROM hack out there. You'll battle Team Genesis, who plan to release Giratina from the Distortion World. Going into this game, I thought it was going to be your standard evil team do evil things game, but boy, I was wrong. There's a point in this game where you're just like, uh, what is going on? Uh, this game is so good. I'm not going to spoil anything, but the story is ridiculous. In a good way. Uh, very unique, very funny, and you've got to see it for yourself. There's some Fakemon which are great. I honestly think this is a game where I think knowing as little as possible really enhances your playthrough. The surprises this game uh, bought me is something I will remember for a long time. I could easily tell you some awesome things about this game. But I think that will ruin the surprise. I'll just let you guys play the game for yourself and experience it. Trust me, this is a game you definitely, definitely want to play. 100%. Number one, we have Pokemon Adventures Red Chapter. This game has gone through so many updates. And there's another update coming this Christmas Eve. And I'm tempted to do another playthrough from scratch because it's changed so much. This game is really awesome. 
basically, you follow Red Story of the manga, but so many new original things have been added in, like custom megas, custom story, characters. It's, it's well worth a play. I really think with every update this game has, it just gets better and better. I mean, it should do. It's an update, but really, I, I just cannot wait to try this new, this new update because graphically it has improved so much, and there's loads of things added. And it looks really cool. If you guys want me to do a brand new playthrough for this game, uh, let me know in the comments down below because I messed up my save file by accidentally saving it in a place I don't think I can get out of. If, if they're fixed in, I can maybe move around in that place. I can continue my save file, that'd be great, but I might have to start a new game anyway, so I don't mind doing a, a new playthrough from scratch. I mean, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, just let me know. Uh, I know we only finished the game about four or five months ago, but I'm so down for another playthrough. <laughs> so there you have it, my top 10 ROM hacks I've played this year. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you have any other more ROM hacks you want me to play on the channel, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. See you next time. Peace.